Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome today to a review on the Eliglide T1 step through electric bike. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay guys, so we're going to just run through the specifications first on the Eleglide e-bike. I'm going to go for a little test ride around Pool Harbour here in the south of England and then we'll do a final thoughts at the end. So price on these as of today coming in at £899. Comes with a very smooth running 250 watt brushless motor producing around about 50 newton metres of torque. It's got a 12.5 amp hour battery incorporated into the frame here and with the supplied um, key just turn that there and you can remove all of this from the uh, from the frame if you want to take it off charge it indoors you can charge it on the bike there via the port 36 volt battery on these comes with five power assist levels so simply hold the top button here for a few seconds powers up the lovely LCD screen as you can see there you've got all your assist levels just go up and down here for the assist got your miles an hour battery trip um, odometer all that sort of stuff hold to turn off it's also got a walk assist mode where you just hold the minus button for a few seconds and the bike goes along for you which helps up hills range on this should be between 30 and 50 miles depending on what assist level you have it in just looking around the bike it's all very nicely built uh, the welds are really tidy and the paintwork looks good as well we got seven speed Shimano index gears that work really nicely straight out the box all very very smooth to use tyres on these We've got CST tyres, 650B, 27.5 by 1.75, and again, very smooth running. Uh, the stem there, you can adjust for the angle that you like, so that's a nice little touch. Also comes supplied with lights front and rear, which is good. Very, very comfortable Cell Royale saddle. We have me mechanical disc brakes front and rear which do an absolutely fine job of stopping the bike front suspension with lockout weight on these coming in at around about 26 kilos so quite light really for an e-bike It came very well boxed, no damage at all, very simple to put together with all the supplied tools. Comes with a charger, comes with a thumb throttle as well. Um, nice little touch as it comes with this rear rack here with a spring. So if you wanted to, you could put a little pannier bag here or panniers down the side there as well. Comes in this nice white or a dark gray. Suits riders from about five foot two, five foot three, I would say, right up to well over six foot. Just take a look at me on the bike so you can sort of uh, gauge how it would fit yourself. Just as a reference, I'm five foot seven, 170 centimeters with a 30 inch inside leg. Just take a look so you can see how um, I fit it so you can compare that for yourself.
Okay then guys, let's go for this test ride, shall we? Okay, Glide T1 step through. Let's try this out. So it feels very light when you jump aboard. Let's turn it on, hold the power button for a couple of seconds. Powers up the lovely LCD screen there, showing you all your information. So we're currently starts off in zero assist, which you can pedal fine in zero assist. But we're just going to put it onto three. That's my favourite. And as soon as you start to push the pedals, the power comes in straight away. And the first thing you notice is it's very, very smooth running, very smooth, and the power does come in quite, quite quickly. And there's lots of it as well. Very good. I have GPS checked the uh, speedo, and it's very accurate. So I'm just very comfortably, with minimal effort, bimbling along here now. Around about 14 miles an hour, lovely. We'll just try it in five. Wow, that really does come in hard then, the power. Whee! Very, very impressive. Drop it down to three. All right, just try the brakes out front and rear together. Absolutely fine, no problems at all there with those mechanical disc brakes. So, uh, the Shimano gears all work very, very smoothly. Index very precisely indeed. So what I'm noticing so far about the early glide is just how, how smooth it runs. Right, we're gonna try our first hill now, so I'm in sixth gear, power assist level three. Just literally giving it like 20% power from my legs and the bike is doing all the work for me. So it's absolutely flying up this little hill here with no problems at all. And that's in three of five. So free wheeling down the hill now, very easily up to about 19 miles an hour. No problem at all. Good strong brakes to, if you need them. Nice big wheels roll over all the irregularities and the front suspension feels very good as well over the little bumps. The general comfort of the bike is very good. Lots of room here. Nice upright riding position. Yeah, this is really, really nice. It's cruising along like this. Super smooth. All the gears work lovely. I say for general on the flat like this, pedal assist three is absolutely perfect. We'll try it in um, level assist five in a minute up a hill. But no, it's a very comfortable bike. Steers well. Most impressive is how smooth it is on the um, on the drivetrain and the motor, how the power comes in. All right, we're just gonna try it up this hill shortly. All right, we're gonna ramp it up to level five now. Quite a steep little pathway, this one. You can really feel that power coming in. All right, here we go. Level five. Oh wow, that's impressive. Look at that, 15 miles an hour up a hill, probably giving it about 20% power. So um, top marks for the Ellie Glide's climbing ability. Excellent. Right, we'll just try it in level assist two. And again, that's still giving a nice little bit of assist there. Should get a good range out of two, but my favourite's three, to be honest. Three out of five. The rear motor's very, very quiet from behind. All right, guys, we'll just uh, wrap it up down here and have a final thoughts. Okay, so let's just take a look round the Ellie Glide. Just run through all the parts. So. Front suspension with lockout gives a nice smooth ride. These tyres are very impressive, they roll really smoothly. I've got them pumped to about 40 psi, that's just my personal preference. I do like the integration of the battery into the frame there, it's really nice. You've got a little button there you can press to see the battery state, can obviously be removed as well. Very smooth running drive chain. 
all the uh, gears work very well on the indexing system it's nice that it comes to the rear rack you could put your panniers on it got a good adjustment range of seat height there for short to tall riders I say it's a convenient step through design which a lot of people do like mechanical mechanical disc brakes work absolutely fine the overall build quality of the bike nice quality welding as I said earlier the paintwork looks nice stem is good because it's adjustable I say you'll probably get around about 30 miles range I would say out of this okay well I hope you enjoyed the uh, test ride review on the Eleglide T1 step through e-bike don't forget to like share and subscribe post your comments down below please guys and I'll catch you again in a week or so for another two-wheeled review take care guys ride safe all the best and bye for now